Otis Who. Otis. Music. Music. What's going on, people? What's going on? We are back. Another week of news updates. This is the Otis Who Podcast. I'm your host, Otis Who. This is my dirty, my co-host, Tyrone. He's in the building. I'm back. Every time you see him, nine times out of ten, he got some news for us. It is that time. We are day late, but we good. I'm glad we are day late because some shit transpired. So it's worth the 24 hours that we are late. We're going to be all right. But before we get started, we have to pay these bills. I love our sponsors. We got to pay these bills. With that being said, I love talking about this because this is important. Ladies and gentlemen, we got this second annual health fair that's going down July the 7th, 2018. It's going to be on the Saturday, 10 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. This event is sponsored by the Kicking for the Community and the Perpetual Home Supportive Services. They are a nonprofit organization. It is a fun family event open to all the communities. Please bring your children out there. Please, it's very important. It's going to be uh, free screenings, and actually, the screenings, the uh, screenings is going to be uh, consistent with the uh, what? What's this? It's going to be the. Uh, the uh, People's Health Center mobile uh, van for uh, test for testing your uh, blood sugar. They're going to be screening for your uh, prostate. Ooh, that's real important. Your BMI reading, your depression uh, screening. A lot of depression going on in this uh, community, most definitely. Uh, they're going to have the van out there for the uh, ladies for the uh, mammograms, and that's going to be sponsored through the uh, Missouri Baptist uh, Medical Center. They're also going to be screening for uh, blood pressure. And that's going to be sponsored by the uh, St. Luke's Medical Center. Also, there is hearing and eye health. There is dental health. There is wellness profile. There is uh, prostate uh, screening. There is stroke prevention. And also just your all-around healthy heart education. You need that. You need that. Along with that, also but what's going on is, you definitely can't forget this. This is for my kickball community. Our season starts this Sunday out at uh, Forestwood Park here in St. Louis, uh, actually in uh, Ferguson. That starts this Sunday, but prior to that, that's Saturday at uh, Elmo, Elmo's Love Lounge, we're going to have our annual meet and greet. That's when we come out, we meet the coaches, we meet the players. I get to realize and see face-to-face -face who asks I'm going to be kicking that year, most definitely. Uh, coaches get in free. We're getting free. It's going to be from 9 to 1.30. We're going to drink. We're going to have some fun. Don't drink too much because I don't want no excuse for that Sunday. I don't want none. No excuses. So please come out. Enjoy yourself. And it's open to everyone, not just the uh, kickball community. Come on out. Have fun with us. Enjoy us. That's going to be hosted by Fat Fat. Fat Fat is one of the uh, coaches. He has uh, three teams. All three of them getting their ass whooped by my three teams, the ball and queens. Yeah, I said it. Come on with it. But with that being said, hey, we got to get right back into what we was doing. Talk about this news because there's a lot going on. So with that being said, what you got for us, man? Mm, as of today, Thursday, April 26th, we got breaking news. And it, it hurts my heart for real to oh, tell shit. all this news. For real. <laughs> My man's Bill Cosby has been charged and convicted. Three charges, like I said. Of three counts. Yeah, three counts. Mm, three are you counts good? Of sexual assault. And they, like I say, he is, they found him guilty on all three charges. Yes, they did. Against a young lady named Andrea Constad. And this dates back to 14 years ago, which lets me know there's no... Uh, what they call it? Uh, limit of statute? Uh, uh, the sta statute of limitation. limitation. Well, actually, if I'm not mistaken, her case, out of all the people, all of all the ladies that were coming forward, her case was the only one that fell within the statute of limitations mm. because every, all the other ones, it surpassed that time. So 
he almost got away with it. Um, almost. Can, can I say this real quick before you go on? Let me tell you something. What's that? Bill Cosby, he had a lot of people fooled. And unfortunately, sad to say, there's a lot of people within our community who still is rooting for this man. Now, honestly, I don't even know where you stand. We haven't even talked about it. Right. I don't know what your sure, thought process right. is, So, and right. I like we doing this. So with that being said, I'm just going to speak for myself. He guilty as hell. He really is. He, he had a lot of us fooled. What he did was wrong. Granted, that what was that was that what was going on back then in them sixties and all that. And a lot of the women did consent to what what was going on. What took place, he took it a little bit too far. Look. Some women didn't consent. Some women he just dropped it dropped it on in there. Some women knew what he was putting in there, but. They didn't know it was going to incapacitate them that way. Right. And he went ahead and did what he did. So I don't condone any of that. I wasn't around in them 60s. You know, I, I, but, but hey. This just date back 14 years ago, though. Yeah. yeah. It ain't back in the 60s. So this was like. Oh, I, what? I think, well, you know what? The earlier cases were. Yeah. Uh, the the earlier, earlier cases yeah, were. The, the Angel Young Dust Cosby. and all that. Right, yeah. right. Now, his latest case was, I believe, like, what, 2004. Right. Yep. And he 80 years old. Yeah. So he was still doing this. Sh- what kills me is they trying <laughs> to give him the maximum sentence of 10 years. He can get 30 years. He can get 10 years per uh, charge. Right. But you know so. that's not going to happen. They're going to run them uh, consecutively. Oh, my fault. Oh, concur- What's the word? Concurrent. Concurrent. Yeah, concurrently. Yeah, yeah. They're going to yeah. run it concurrently. And uh, I doubt if he even get 10 years. He's going to do some jail time. They mainly try to, they, they're they mainly trying to take his money. Yeah, they really right. are. But uh, he's going to do some type of jail time. Right. Very unfortunate situation. That just Very works. unfortunate. And, I, and I, feel, I feel bad for his wife. You know what I'm saying? Because she's she been by his side the whole time. She hasn't been coming to court lately. Mm, I think she got that. She hasn't that, been that coming hit. to court lately, yeah. which is usually a bad sign. It's a bad sign. Usually a bad sign. But but like I say, it hurts my heart to tell y'all that this happened today, April 26th. This is breaking news. Like Otis said, glad we came 24 hours later so we could drop this news to y'all. Yeah. Mm, so, Mr. Jello Pudding Pop Mr. Man. Mm, Mr. Co- ah. Kodak, too. Didn't he what have they call Kodak? That? A Polaroid or something? He like was that? doing something. He was, he was in some everything. Yeah, but that, that, that's that's tough for my man, Bill. But Done deal. Done deal. On to the next. Yes, sir. Uh, this past weekend, if I'm sure y'all heard about the Waffle House incident. It was a couple of them, but we're going to drop this one first. Travis Ranking. Yes. Ass. He's actually from Illinois, but he Is was it? hanging around in Tennessee at a Waffle House, butt naked with a coat on, and decide to go into a Waffle House and shoot up the place. With a, was, but they have a, a AR-15? AR-15. That infamous AR-15? Mm, gun okay. control that we've been talking about last week and all that. He used that on the Waffle House customers. Unfortunately, he did kill four people and wounded another seven, I believe. Those four that he actually killed were, um, let me see, Teron Sanderlin, Joe Perez, Aquila De, De, De Silva, sorry about that, mm-hmm. and the Ebony Groves. And like we always want to give a special prayer out to those family family members and all them that they, who lost their their family. But, wow. And he, he also wounded seven. I don't have those names for you, but it, it's just a sad situation that we're mm. in this in this time of 2018, we're still dealing with gun control. Government still hasn't wrapped their hands around it, but it's an unfortunate situation, for real. Let me, let me ask you a question, if you don't mind. I'm so sorry. He went in with the weapon, an AR-15. AR-15. He took four lives. Took four and lives. that call went out on the radio. So the police officer, everybody knew that there was an armed man, an armed man with an AR-15. Exactly. They took him a lot. They took him in alive, didn't they? Uh, actually, that night, um, a customer, James Saw Jr., Disarmed him for with from the from the, with the AR-15 threw the gun behind the uh, counter, and I believe he ran off. Police looked for him for a couple mm-hmm. of days. They found him that Monday behind some apartments in the woods, and they took him in with no shots, no tasers. He's still alive. He came in alive. He came. Forget in all alive. that. He they, they they brought him in alive. Brought him in alive. Now let me say this. Same. I might be out of order. I don't know. Nope. These are just my thoughts. 
it's safe to say, I'm assuming, if there was a person of color, mm -hmm. he would not have been brought in alive. I don't believe so. Yeah, I said it. I don't believe so. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to put my life on that one. Yep. He wouldn't have came in alive. Wouldn't have came in alive at all. Yeah, okay. AR-15 took four lives. And this man here, what's his name again? He, he gets all the respect. He get all the dudes. Ranking. Oh, you're talking about this guy who saved us. Yeah, the saved guy who saved Yeah, the guy who saved us. James him. Shaw Jr. Big shout out to him. Most definitely, yeah. And matter yeah. of fact, he took a, a bullet to the, not a bullet, the bullet grazed his forearm. And you, you'll see it if y'all, I'm sure y'all seen it on the Facebook, all throughout the news, Instagram and all that. You'll see where that bullet grazed his arm. While he was saving yeah. those customers. He grabbed that hot burrow. That's yeah. why his hands are wrapped up. He yep. actually grabbed that hot. Yep. Whew. Yeah, okay. Big shout out to James Saw Jr. for doing that. Big shout out. I'm pretty sure he's one of the ones that if he saw that, but well, actually he just proved it. He wouldn't have whipped out his phone. He don't get a dumb, right. dumb award. Exactly. If you watch my previous podcast, he doesn't qualify for the dumb, dumb award. Right. You know who you are that do qualify for it. And Good I, job, man. Ironic, Great job. Speaking of the uh, color of that man, our president, 45, has not. He has yet to even acknowledge him. Exactly. He has yet to say his name. Mm -mm. Has yet. And for the record, they're finding every excuse to give this killer off because you know he so-called has mental issues mm -hmm. he was reported to the fbi he was reported to the secret service so his dog on defense is already set up and speaking of that a few months ago he got caught arrested uh jumping a white house fences in a restricted area <sighs> with yeah okay more guns so actually they took his guns the secret took service guns. took his guns took his gave guns. it to his father and, and his uh, daddy gave it back to him. Right back to him. And those are the same guns that he used that same That same AR-15. That same AR-15 that this man had to disarm. Oh, look at his beautiful daughter. That's beautiful. Hey, uh, Mr. President, say that man name. Where you at? Say that man name. Right. Say his name. Ridiculous. And the killer, another killer part is, you know, he, he, they gave him a $2 million bond. So, you know it's going to be some group out there that's going to get him out off that $2 million bond. Wow. It's, it's, it's sickening to me. But but uh, let's keep it going with Waffle House, matter of fact. In Alabama, a young lady by the name of Shakisha Clemens. What, what's her name again? Shakisha. Shakisha. Okay, that, that, with a name like that, ain't, ain't, this story ain't finna be good, y'all. Ain't finna be good. It ain't finna be good. So from my understanding, she was at Waffle House, had a to-go order, and she wanted you plastic utensils. Okay. So the waitress said you have to pay 50 cents for these utensils. Okay. Now, every time I've been to Waffle House, my utensils was free when it was time for me to True that. my to-go order. I ordered them eggs with that, with them hash browns, that, with onion. That all-star the two, special. The two uh, chicken breasts. You you know what it oh, is. Oh, yeah. So they charged, they wanted to charge her 50 cents, but she wanted, she was like, no, I'm not paying 50 cents. I want to, I want to speak to your manager. So she sat in Waffle House waiting for the manager. While she was sitting waiting for the manager, the waitress called the police. Why? <laughs> police came, and y'all already see the picture posted. Wow. Well, they, yeah. They these three, yeah. To the ground, had her breast exposed. Police officers said, "If you stop, if you don't stop resisting, I'm gonna break your arm." Come on, it's not that deep. And first of all, I don't even think the police should have been called in the first place. For real. Wow. You know what? Well, y'all know me. I try my best to be fair with these stories. I try my best. To me, I don't think I, I personally don't have enough information to comment on that. I don't know what actually transpired. I understand. I know about the basic fun, the, the basics uh, parts of, 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 of the story. Uh, she wanted utensils. They wanted to charge her for it after she already purchased the food. Right. And the police was called. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened in that little time. Why the police was called? What what escalated the situation? So the jury is still out on that. 
Strange story. Strange right. story. Now, attorney has been hired by the name of Ben Crump. If y'all remember Ben Crump. Oh, Ben Crump. Okay. <laughs> he was the one with Mike Brown. Right. Most he was of the Mike Brown situation. Right here in St. Louis. Yep. So, yep. The uh, Ferguson area. Yep. So he got on that real fast. Good. Shout out to Ben Most Crump definitely. For uh, ha handling this situation for us. So, Most definitely. Yep. Yeah, it just baffles me that we still going through this. Wow. These times of day. It's for real. Mm, mm, mm. All right, next we're going to move on to uh, an incident that happened in Toronto earlier this week. A guy by the name of Alec Manassas rented a rider van and just so happened jumped the curb in Toronto and ran over 25, maybe 24 to 25 people, killing 10 of them and injuring 14 of them. And he was apprehended later on that day uh of course they said he had mental issues as well but i'm not believing that and when some were saying that it had to do with a terrorist organization organization but we'll find that out later like i say it it's a bad situation going on up there how are you gonna run over people for, for no reason I, it don't make any sense did he claim some type of uh, allegiance to a tort a, a terrorist organization or what did, 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 did they come out it as was, of yet they, there was something on cnn but i never heard of this organization so i'm not even gonna bring them up to even give okay. them any type of any type of props or whatnot so got you okay it's a bad situation for those people up in toronto that lost their families me and otis we definitely want to give that prayer out to those people who lost their most family definitely members most definitely and the ones wow. that are actually still in the hospital wounded so big shout out to them and Man. not a shout out to you alec because something's wrong with you i don't know i don't get it but wow like i say i don't get it but, looks like a normal guy to me yeah. whatever that mean right exactly. <laughs> right yep Moving on to our next story, we talking about Mini Me. Now, if y'all remember Mini Me, he was in those Austin Powers series, and we we love Austin Powers. I know I do, but um, what's yeah. his name? Vern Vern Troyer. My best. Vern Troyer. Okay. I always want to call him Mini Me. Mini Me, right? Vern Troyer. Yes, Vern. Yes, yep. he passed. Yeah. yeah. Next to uh, Mike Myers. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he. He, from what my understanding, he had an alcohol problem. Alcoholism, yes, I heard he was definitely battle, battling with uh, alcoholism. Yep, yeah, and I believe we believe that's what took him out. And um, just want to give a shout out to his family. We always give him prayers on this. Wow, family. I'm not trying to be funny, man. You was too little to be drinking, drinking man. Right. Uh, alcohol problem. A shot man. of tequila will, will probably will take him down for real. And, but yep, he he passed this past weekend. Want to give a shout out. But not really a shout out, but want to give our prayers out to Vern Troyer's family. Most definitely. Wow. And, um, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. I enjoyed you in the movies. Most yep. definitely. I love the Austin Power series. Definitely. Loved it. Sure Damn. Did. May you rest in peace, man. And speaking of alcoholism, we had a DJ Avicii. Also, Avicii. DJ Avicii. DJ yes, Avicii. yes. Yep. And he was big in the DJ world. And the, uh, that uh, E on the E. What's that? The ele electronic music. Electronic, yep, exactly. And he was very, very big. He was 28 yep. years old. 29. Died overseas. Yeah, real young. He was battling depression and alcoholism. But word as of today, his death was, well, not dead, was suicide. So wow. It, it must have been bad if it was suicide. Those are the reports that came out today, April 26th. So uh, once again, we want to give a special prayer out to his family. And um, big shout out to his fans that uh, appreciate his music. So wow. like I say, and <clears throat> that alcoholism is something to deal with. And depression at the same time. Yes, so. most definitely. Especially depression within our community. Yep. It's big. That goes along with that uh that PTS, which we all suffer from. Yep. Me being in the service for real. Yep. And me just growing up in the hood in the St. Louis area. Shout out to the West Side, most definitely. Hey, it was no joke. I'm glad to be here. Thank God I'm still here. But trust me, it's PTSD and depression going on. Trust me. It is. Trust. Yep. yep. Wow. It's so it's sad. So it is, man. Very sad. Well, moving along, we're gonna go into our sports. Okay, what we got for sports? What we got for sports? Now I'm sure y'all seen that game Woo! yesterday. A highlight. All you look. All you Bron Bron haters. Where the haters at? You Bron Bron haters. Stand up, y'all yeah. hating. Y'all come seen on with that it. Game winning shot that he took. 
against the Indiana Pacers. Yes, yes, lead yes, three to yes. Two. They couldn't believe it. Right. Indiana couldn't yeah, believe it. And they still hurt <laughs> calling it a goal 10. If it was a goal 10 or not, that ain't on LeBron. They ain't that's, calling it at the end anyway. That's on the refs. You know what I'm Get saying? On. So that's on the refs. Yeah, hey. Where all my Bron Bron haters at? That's right. all I got to say. Stand up. Because I, I know y'all got y'all hands in y'all face. Face palm. <laughs> That's what it is. But, uh, and if like, that's the question, do you think it went a little bit too far when he hopped on the uh, the uh, scoring uh, table? Nah, I would have done it too. Wow, hey. I would have done it too. That's how you end it out. You, you, yeah, that's how you end it out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He, hey, he, he deserved it though. He did. He deserved he did. that. He did. Wow. And like uh, and I, like I always say, to be the champs, you got to beat the champs. So we only talking about the East and the West champions, Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. They took out the San Antonio Spurs a couple nights. They didn't give them the sweep, but I but they gave them the gentleman sweep. They beat them four to one. So, okay. so uh, next up for uh, Golden State, they will be playing the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, and that Anthony Davis, he's something to deal with. He'll so, be, so he'll keep be, an eye out on them. Most and getting back to the Cavs and the uh, Pacers, the Cavs are up. 3-2? Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. So they're going back to, going uh, back to Indiana. Indiana. Okay. Yep, on gotcha. Friday. So check that game gotcha. out. Y'all know yes, it's going to be something to watch. Yeah. Where are all my bron bron? They ain't yes. nowhere nah, to be. They ain't nowhere to be. Yeah, they ain't nowhere to be found. And this past weekend, we had Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas. That was a good fight. I didn't, I didn't see that fight. Man, Who won? Was, I, was, I didn't see it. it I really didn't. It, really, in my opinion, Vargas won. But a lot of people saying... Broner won, but it came down to bill? it came down to a draw. A draw? A draw. So nobody won. Nobody won. Okay. So they, so they, so they get about, to do it all over again. They talking about a rematch. So we're gonna see. They ain't have, of course they ain't got no date set because it just happened this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Last fight was at the Barclays. So yep, they're gonna have a rematch for sure. That was that was a good fight, in my opinion. So check it out. Most definitely. Okay. Moving on to uh our off the wall news. Now, we're going to talk about this guy named Dylan McWilliams. This dude. <laughs> Yo, boy. This is one of those you need to go sit your ass down somewhere. First of all, he got into a, I guess he was in the wilderness somewhere or whatever. And he got bitten the back of the head by a, a grizzly bear. Hold on. What? Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> for real. Time out. For real. Say it again. Dylan McWilliams. Was in the wilderness somewhere, forest. Uh-huh. Got bit in the back of the head by a grizzly bear. A and grizzly he, bear. And he lived. He lived. Oh, okay. mm. But that's not the end of the story, y'all. So a few months later, I guess he wanted to go surfing or explore the ocean or water or something. Then he got bit by a shark in the leg. Come on, man. You need to go sit your ass down somewhere for real. If you ain't learned the first time by getting by a bear, getting bitten by a bear, the second time you get bit by a shark, your third time you need to sit your ass down somewhere for real. Well, what well, I mean, what well, what major injury is left by an animal? You got bitten by a, sh- uh, a doggone uh, bear, right? In the in the back of the head, in the back of the head, and then a few months later you go surfing and a shark attack your ignorant ass. So on land is birds, on sea and sea is sharks. Right. Well, I listen. Don't fly. Don't get in no. Hot, don't do not get in any uh in, in any hot air balloons. Right. No parasail and don't do none right. of that. None of that. Because I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. None to of that. For real. <laughs> I have no idea. My. And you, sir, have no idea either. I think I'm gonna have to give you some at the end of the show. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. I think I'm going to have to give you something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, Dylan, What's up, man? <laughs> moving along. Yeah, I'm done with Dylan. Moving along. We want to give a shout out to the city of Philadelphia. A couple of days ago, y'all main Woo! man's Meek Mills hey, man. has been released from prison after doing a five-month hey, bid. Yep, he is out. Hey, Amen. But the killer part to me is when he got put in, the reason Amen. he got put in for doing a willy on an ATV. Parole Come violation. On, man. Let them tell it. Parole yeah, violation. That's, but he, that's, that's t- crazy. I don't know all the full story as well, but he's been on probation since, I don't know how old he is. I think he, I know he's, I know he's in his 20s, but yep. he's been on probation since he was in his teens, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, true I could that. be wrong, but I'm thinking he's been nah. on probation since he's been in his teens, which probation is, is a setup. Yep. People, trust me, I'm not trying to digress. I promise you, I'm not, I'm not trying to get off this topic, but. The parole and the probation is a system just to get money. Just to get money. You're monetized. Yep. 
I'm going to say this again. We as human beings are monetized. I could prove this. I will be discussing this in later, later episodes. But trust me, it's a setup. We are not meant to succeed when they put you on parole slash probation. Once you're in that system, you're in that system. You're monetized. Really? Go yep. ahead. I'm sorry. Nah, you're right. You're right. You so he monetized. got out. Yeah. He's he went, out. And he went to that game in style, too. He did. He did. And I believe yeah. the reason he got out because his name became a household name. Most definitely. And yeah, and I, I was watching a clip of him and T.I. talking on the phone. And that's what that's what T.I. said. You became a household name. Everybody started talking about you. Even Lester Holt on NBC had a small segment about Holt. Yeah, Meek okay. Mill. So when you on NBC News and they starting talking about you, you a household name. And that's one reason I believe he got let go because of that. So, but he still has the same. The same judge is still on the case. She would not recruit, uh, recuse herself, even though the higher ups in her within her office is asking her to. They can't make her. Mm -hmm. They just made a suggestion. It would right. make the whole process a little bit easier. Yep. But she's refusing. Yep. It's something about her. I just don't. And I hate to say this. It's against our own. That's what it. That's what it's it against, is. And it just doesn't. And I, I believe those stories about he. She. She. She asked him to be a part of some sort of his video to give somebody a part or something. Or, 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 right? or something like that. She she wanted her name to be dropped Aww, in one of his videos, on. a new song. As a matter of fact, part, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong. He was doing a remake. He was tried, I believe he was in negotiations to do a remake of the Boys and Men song. And I believe the judge wanted her wanting him to uh, give, give a shout out to drop her name. That's messed and up. And of course he didn't do it. Right. So, but yeah, I wouldn't man, shout her out either, man. You got me on lockdown. Crazy, I ain't gonna put she, your name in nothing. Sit back, lady. Crazy. Fall, wow. in, fall in place. Know your That's lane. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But now we go from the highs to the lows. Uh-oh. What, what, what's the low? What's going on? Kanye West. I don't know what's wrong with my man. For he real. went on the little tweak frenzy. Man, talking about he support Donald Trump and that's and Obama ain't did nothing for Chicago within his eight years of presidency. I don't I don't know if it's that Kardashian water he been drinking or uh, or what, but dude looking real bad for real for real. Even Snoop was on Instagram saying somebody get your boy so. I don't know. I think it's because he got a new album. Is he got a new album coming? Of out? Of course, he has a new album. That? Well, he he's working on new music, so of course it's going to be supposed to be released anytime soon. So of mm. course you have to do something to right to get their rub. Um, again, oh. this is one of these topics that can definitely take us like an hour or two to discuss because I did a little bit of research. I I, I love to do research before I comment right. on certain things. Right. He first came out because he was coming to the defense of another uh, young lady of color who made a statement. She was at some type of function, and the Black Lives Matter was sitting in the back. Mm. So make a long story short, because I hate to bring politics into it, because right. I don't believe in that Republican slash Democrat. Right. All of them for the shit. Both of y'all. Yep. All y'all for the shit. Yep. But with that being said... Uh, the lady that was on stage, she was a uh, conservative, and the Black Lives Matter, of course, majority of them are liberals. Right. So she was on stage giving her speech, saying that uh, that the Black Lives Matter, they basically, in a nutshell, focus on the past too much. You mm -hmm. wasn't around 400 years ago doing oh, the Jim okay. Crow and all that. I got so you. that's her perspective. Right. Now let me say this: please don't get upset, but it is what it is. I agree to a certain extent. To a, certain, to a certain extent. Okay. You're not supposed to live in the past. You can't forget it because you can't forget. And you got to remember in order for you to move forward. Right. That's period. So I get that. Yep. So I'm not going to go that deep into it. So with that being said, I can see why the two are bumping heads. So Kanye came to her defense. Okay. But with that being said, you know how Kanye is. Right. He tends to go a little bit too far. overboard. Yeah. You know, and with that being said, this is why we have what we have. He came out with these several tweets and everything that really yeah. doesn't make sense, but it does a little bit if you could just sit back, take the emotion out of it, right. and just listen to what he's saying. Gotcha. I get it. Right. But you know how we are as a people. We're so emotional. Yep. I get that. So they can't get past certain 
trigger words and certain images like him donning the America is great hat uh, by, yep. from Trump, you know, yep, and exactly. saying stupid shit like uh, President Obama didn't do nothing for Chicago. Right. So stuff like that, when he says that, it negates the points he is trying They're to make. trying to make, true. So, <clears throat> and they oh. were on Ricky Smiley's show talking about should they take his black card away or not. <laughs> The majority of those callers was taking his card away. But again, mm. emotion. You got to take emotion out of it. Yep. So you got to take. Man, this is gonna man, great topics for another show, man. We got. I want to. I'm gonna stay on this so much, but but yeah, this just goes to show you we have things to talk about. Things to talk about. This whole topic mm. alone would take a good two hours. Yep. Trust me, we will. We we will be coming back to address these issues. Trust me, yep. it's a must. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. Moving on, we're going to go locally for y'all. Once again, my battle rap fans, look out for Street Status in Old Weston, May 6th. He's going to have him a battle event. Haven't seen the car yet, but knowing O, most definitely it's going to be hot. So check that out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that. And also from St. Louis is uh, LT. If y'all are familiar with LT, also known as Terrence William, he will be going up against Shotgun Suge this weekend, April 28th. Okay. Where's it going to be at? This one is actually, I believe, out in New Jersey, New York, one of the two. Okay. But, um, yeah, just want to give him a big shout-out, representing St. Louis. So on no the events going to be held here in St. Louis? But uh, Yeah, not this weekend. Yeah, okay, yeah, but, 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 but we have local artists. We got that's local gonna artists. going to be going doing their thing. Representing, gotcha. yep, representing the 314. So gotcha. definitely check them out. I believe they're going to have the pay-per-view. If y'all want to get the pay-per-view, check that out on his link, on his Facebook page, and that's what it is. All my Battle Earth fans, check that out. And for me, that's it. That's it? That's it. That's all. That's the news for the day? That's the news for that the day. That went by kind of fast. You know what, though? That may be the news, but I, I want to do something. What you got? You know, I started last week giving out awards. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, one particular award. One just, award, just, just yeah. one. It's the Dum Dum Award. Dum Dum. Yep. There was a lot to give out. But based on these stories here, just based on these stories here alone. Who you got? I think I'm going to give this Dum Dum Award to old boy who got bit in the fucking head by uh, 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 the, bear. the bear. And then a month or two later goes out and get bitten in the leg by a shark. What's the old boy's name? Dylan McWilliams. Yeah, Dylan, Mc, Dylan McWilliams. You get the Dum Dum Award. You, sir, are a Dum Dum. You need to sit your ass <laughs> down somewhere. <laughs> like my mama would say. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. Hey, well, check this out. That is the news. That is the news. Uh, we had fun. Like we have more. Hey, we have more things coming up. Trust me, we have, have more things coming up. Uh, I have interviews in the pipeline. He's going to be coming through more often. Besides doing the news, we have stuff to talk about. Well, we're gonna we sit have down stuff and really talk. to talk about, man. Yep. I want to change this setting. We probably need to just be on the couch, chilling and relaxing. That's a good idea. Kick our feet up. I think this session here is the news, and then we have a whole. You know what I'm saying? For the couch. you know, we will see if we can just sit back and chill, yeah, and see what's going on. Just just see if we can get that that that, that conversation just to truly come out. What'd you call it? Be that organic. organic vibe. Exactly. Get that organic vibe. I'm with uh, you. Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out uh, Leonard's Barber College. Uh, who got game association, and also the um, Lord have mercy. I forgot who's who's the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. Bam's Body Fitness, most definitely. Shout out to all my sponsors. Without you, we would not be here. Let me go over this one more time though, because I got to pump this. I have to. I have to pump this. Please, again. Cannot be said enough. The second annual health fair is going down Saturday, July 7th, 2018, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's free screenings, prostate, blood pressure, dental, uh, hearing, uh, stroke prevention, uh, uh, sugar, all that. Your BMI screening is free for the community, free for the kids. 
please bring your children out. That is definitely sponsored and brought to you by Kicking for the Community and the Perpetual Home Supportive Services, which is a non-for-profit organization. Also, Saturday, I need to see all my kickball players, all my coaches, all the kickball players, not just besides who got game, everybody from around the St. Louis and uh, Metro East surrounding area. You are welcome to please come through the uh, Elmo's uh, Love Lounge located in University City, 7828 Olive. That's going to be going down this Saturday from 9 to 130. Coaches of the uh, WDGA League will be getting in free. So, by all means, please, I would love to see you there. It's been great, Dirty. Real another good. one. Another Real one good. in the books. Another one in the books. Real good. But you know what, though? What's up? Until next time. Aha! Music, music.